so today I'm going to be doing a full face of Allure Beauty Winners for 2022. Uh, every year they come out with a list of beauty winners, obviously, and you might be buying or notice products that have that little like award up into the corner that says Allure winner best of blah blah blah. Um, this is my first time really kind of digging into this list. Like I've never really cared about it before, but I thought it would be a fun idea for a video to try and see how many products that I ha actually have slash um, what I could maybe dupe or uh, whether I even agreed. Like I didn't know really what I was getting into with this video, but then I discovered I actually had a lot of these products uh, and I was super surprised by it. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna do a full face and um, I'm actually gonna just be like talking and applying the makeup as I go. Um, yeah, it was actually, I'm actually really happy with how my makeup turned out and yeah, I mean, like before we get into it, like just look at my complexion. Like I'm just like radiant as fuck right now. Like look at that. Does anybody else like right before they get their period, they're like really scatter scatterbrained? Like I feel like I can't talk. Like I keep stumbling over my words and like stuttering and like just saying things that don't make any sense at all. Um, and also like tripping and dropping things. I dropped my concealer while it was open and the lid, the like doe foot just rolled through a pile of cat hair. This is where I am right now. Um, <laughs> God. <laughs> So the first product I'm going to be talking about today is the e.l.f. Brow Lift. This is an amazing product. This is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, clear brow gel lift thing in the pot like this. It's the, I, almost identical packaging, but I'm not sure how much that one is, but this is $6. $6. Um, I love this. I think that this is an amazing product. This um, can be found at any drugstore. Obviously, e.l.f. is like one of the most known affordable brands and their products turn up. Like they have some like really beautiful formulas um, at such an amazing price. Um, it's described as an extreme hold clear eyebrow shaping wax that holds your brows in place for a fluffy soap brow feathered look. I will say that this does not dry down and um, what I like to do after I apply it, uh, whether I'm doing a laminated or just a combed up look, uh, which you can achieve with, you can, you can achieve either of those looks with this product. Um, it's pretty versatile and its hold is amazing. Though it gives you that, that tacky kind of feeling, like it doesn't fully dry down. So what I like to do is take a translucent powder and lightly dab it on top of my brows just so they're, my hair or any type of anything isn't sticking into it. Um, but that's just my personal preference, whatever works for you. Yeah. Wow, yeah, 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 I, I love this. I love this. So for the foundations, I don't have any of them, um, but I do have a sample for the Westman Atelier Vital Foundation Stick. I have a couple of shades here. I was sent shade zero and shade two. Um, shade zero is way too peach, and shade two, um, I would say, is a pretty nice match for me. Um, I would prefer it if it was a little more olive. It is a little um, too golden leaning, but it's enough golden that um, when blended out that it nicely matches my skin currently because um, I do have a lot of golden green undertones because I am a fair olive so sometimes it's hard to match my skin um, but from looking at the chart here it does look like um, at least in the winter time that 0 0.05 might be a really good match for me if I do choose to 
purchase this someday. Um, right now, I'm, I'm not really buying foundations and stuff, but I am getting more and more interested in stick foundations. Um, anyways, when I first tried this, I wasn't really that into it. Uh, when I put it on my face, I didn't really jive with it that much. I was like, oh, it's this, but then it like sank into my skin so beautifully. Um, so, so beautifully. Um, yeah, I, I'm just really obsessed with my base. And if I'm remembering correctly, this is where I transitioned into just talking as I put on my makeup. But before I leave, um, I just want to say that for concealer, I just used uh, the Kosas Revealer Concealer in the shade 3.2 Olive. And uh, I felt like that would have been a that was like a good representation for the winners since the Kosas Foundation did win the clean beauty category. And people say that it's just basically a liquidy version of the concealer. Uh, so I just went ahead and used that. Okay, so we're gonna go to real time me applying everything and talking. Next product <laughs> is this got the best bronzer in the clean category in Allure, and this is the Say Sun Melt. I wear this in medium bronze. This is um, basically the counterpart kind of dupe to the other winner in the uh, just the regular list of Allure's winners, which is the Chanel Le Beige. This is basically the same thing, only a much cheaper price point and clean, you know, whatever that means. Um, so this applies, it has like a good amount of pigment to it. I'll dab a little bit off on my hand here. And I like to you. this is a kind of color, it has a lot of like red in it. Um, but not in a red where it's going to be too much for a lot of skin tones. Um, this, I feel like, shears out and is dewy and emollient enough that you can bring it kind of high up onto the cheeks, which I think gives you a more natural bronze look. Um, cause if you think about it, you're, you're not bronzing in your contour, you're bronzing on the tops of your cheeks and the cheekbones and on your nose and on your forehead when you get tan, if you get tan, like that's another big thing. Because if you're not a person that gets a different color in the summertime or like spending time out in the sun in general, then using bronzer isn't, I don't want to say it's not for you, but I would say that using bronzer you want to do more of a cool shade so that like contour is more your friend I think like a cooler bronzer um and I'm not sure how the lightest shade in this works but I'm sure that it is toned correctly so that when you apply it you're not looking like you're you know a cheeto um as you see that blends out like in no time at all. Like, that's so lovely. It's so, so pretty. And it gives you like that nice, that nice sheen. I might need a little bit more on this side. I like to apply this with a brush. You can apply it with a sponge. You can even apply it with your fingers if you're in a bind. <laughs> um, not my favorite way to apply it. Oop, my hair. Um, not my favorite way to apply it, but yeah, I think that I like to take it through my eyes. I always take my uh, bronzer up through my like kind of eyebrow area because I do get tan there in the summertime. Take it down. This is by far one of my favorite cream bronzers I've ever used. I've used a plethora um, in my makeup life. Uh, and this is definitely the most seamless, the most beautiful, um, at least for my skin type. If you have a different skin type than me, like if you're like incredibly oily, you might not like it. Um, but I do feel like this has enough grip that if you do have more of a, an oilier skin type, 
that uh, you would enjoy this as well. My skin can lean oily, but um, not to the point where things are sliding off of my face if they're a little dewy. But this just has the most incredible looking glow to it. I think that it makes your skin look so lovely. I like to take, uh, like in really, really hot days, I like to wear this just a little bit over top of some sunscreen just to give my face a little extra dimensionality. And yeah, I think that this is a wonderful product and it is well worth the hype and I understand why Allure picked it. I'm trying to remember the other winners in blush. I think it was like one size beauty. Um, I think that was like Patrick Star somebody's blush or whatever. Um, but uh, in the clean, category. And mind you, I don't specifically just buy clean makeup. It's just kind of um, my preferred type of makeup that is now marketed as clean beauty. Um, it's kind of not my fault. <laughs> I, I didn't, I don't actively search for clean formulas, to be quite honest, but a lot of products that perform in the way that I want them to perform, which are like sheer, dewy, um, they have like an emollient glow to them. Uh, usually fall in the clean category right now. Um, and it'll probably change once the trend of clean goes away. Um, but anyways, so Merit's cheek colors here. Uh, yeah, I have this in the shade Terracotta. This is, you know, this color is very up my alley, like the bronzy nude blush. Yeah, I wear these colors all year long. Like, I don't really have, like, a transition to summer to fall. Like, my makeup looks the same all year round. I think I usually wear cooler eyeshadows in the winter time, and in the summertime, they're more, like, peachy apricots or what have you, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but yeah, this is a really emollient formula. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand before I put it on my face. And just from that little swirl here, you can see the the glow. Um, and these are designed that you can just put them right on your face. I take it kind of like in the highlight point. And when I wear these, I don't really feel like I need to wear any sort of highlighter. And you can blend this out with your fingers or you can blend it out with a brush. I just had this brush here. I figured that and I'll take some up onto my forehead here. Um, so this product, I'm gonna be completely honest, it's not my favorite. I don't dislike it, like I like to use it. I think it's really, really beautiful. Um, and I understand why it won, but I'm gonna be completely honest, it's not my favorite. And a lot of it is due to, it kind of disappears after like maybe an hour on my skin. Like the color, the emollients doesn't disappear. Like I'll remain dewy and kind of like that glassy glow, like you can see, but the color, like this beautiful terracotta, old chewed gum type color, it completely dis like disappears. I And you can really, really build this. I actually want a little bit more because it just goes away and I don't want it to go away. Um, my skin just eats this product up. Um, and that's why I haven't bought the bronzer that everybody is really raving about because it essentially looks like it's the same exact formula as this, only in bronzer tones, <laughs> like bronzer form and in different packaging. Um, and I don't wanna pay money to have something disappear on my face. Like this, com my complexion looks really beautiful right now. Like I'm really, really happy with how all of this looks to be completely honest. Uh, but this blush just disappears on my face and that's quite the bummer. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's, there's terracotta. Mm -hmm. So eyes were a category that made me go, huh? You know, uh, like one of those moments where you go, oh, okay, like, I guess I can see that. Like it was like the Super Shock, ColourPop Super Shock shadows, which I mean, they're fine. Um, 
and I can't remember, I think it was like a Bobbi Brown stick. The one that really made me go, okay, was uh, the Tom Ford quads. Um, like these are beautiful. Don't get me wrong, like they're really simple. Um, and some are, but they didn't like put one palette. They just said the Tom Ford quads in general, which I think is uh, not very helpful considering how many there, there are. And some perform better than others. And there's different formulas in them too. There's the wet to dry, there's the new cream. Um, there's all matte palettes, there's all shimmer palettes. Like there, there's a lot of nuance to these palettes. Um, I'm holding Tiger Eye, which came out, I believe, last summer or something. Maybe in the summer? I can't. I don't remember. Don't quote me. But, um, yeah, this, uh, is a very, like, warm kind of apricot-y type palette. Like, you have two warmer shimmers up here. Uh, you have, like, kind of, like, a taupey color, and then you have a dark brown. And these are their cream they're kind of cream? What? Is, quad cream. Yeah, but they're they're not cream. They're powders that kind of perform like cream. If that makes sense. Um they're okay. Like and that's all I can really say is like these are $89. I'll say that again. They're $89. So, if there's a product that's $89, I want it to Give me that feeling, and any makeup lover knows this, when you put on a piece of makeup and you use it, and you get this kind of like, I don't want to say it's like an in love feeling, but it's definitely a rush of serotonin where you're like, oh, this is incredibly beautiful, and I'm obsessed, and I can't wait to put this on my face again. Or every time you do your makeup, you're like, I can't wait to use this piece of makeup. I thought I would get that with these. I thought I was paying $89 for a euphoric feeling and I didn't get it. Like, these are fine and I don't want to pay that much money for something that's just fine. You know, here's the, here's the two lightest shades. Like, they're very, um, pretty, but they are, um, kind of lackluster. Like, they're not... They're not... This groundbreaking thing. You know? Like, if you want them, like, if you're into, like, collecting, or if you are super into luxury beauty, or um, if you want something that you can just slap on with your fingers and not really have to think about it, like... I guess these are for you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who this is for. Um, but, you know, they're fine. I'm going to take that taupey shade um, and put that all over my eyelid since my cheeks are a little cooler from using that terracotta blush. Plus, I just like this shade a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not going to run to my camera, hit record, and be like, you need to buy this. You need this in your collection. Um, and that's what I thought I would be saying to people when I bought this. Like, I thought I'd be texting my friends and be like, I know you don't spend a lot of money on makeup, but you should get this. Like, I thought I would be saying that to people, but I'm not. Like, I'm just kind of like, oh, yeah, I, I have this. Like, I don't, I get that, like, kind of euphoric feeling when I use the, um, like, golden peach and naked, or is it golden peach and naked bronze? Are those the two? Anyways, the, the little duos, the cream and the, uh, powder, like, sparkly topper ones, um, I got that feeling when I used those the first time, so I thought the quads were gonna be, like, this, I'm like, ooh, like, I get even more options with my eye looks because I now have four shadows. Um, and <laughs> that's, that didn't happen. It didn't happen. Um, I'm going to take the, the lightest shade here. And I like to use these with my fingers, like, because I feel like with a brush, sometimes I don't get the payoff that I want. 
and that that sucks as well like I do like something like especially if it is in powder form um I like the option to use either my my hands or a brush because sometimes I want a more blown out application and sometimes I would like a more defined application but I'm just kind of doing like a little smudgy thing don't get me wrong this brown is really really pigmented as you can see like that's just a very light swatch on my hand like it's really good to like smoke out your lids like the brown is a really impressive shade um all of these shades are you know impressive in their own way but um i think i'm gonna put some pink on here too yeah i'm gonna put that on the outer um they're beautiful in their own ways but they're not they're not making me lose my mind the way so many other cream shadows or even powder shadows that are a quarter of the price like they're <laughs> they're significantly cheaper than this accomplished. Like there's so many other shadows that do give me that like euphoric rush of serotonin like applying to my face. And I feel super confident and beautiful when I wear them. And not that I don't feel super confident and beautiful when I wear this, but it doesn't give me that feeling of wearing an eye palette that's worth $89 on my face. Um, but yeah, that, that's Tiger Eye. Um, okay, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. It's Flintstones mug here. My coffee gets cold so fast. I don't think I drink it fast enough. Tower28 <laughs> has entered the chat. Look at her. Look how cool this packaging is. I love it. Um, so, this is a super new product for me. I've only used it a handful of times. Um, I haven't even reviewed it on anything yet. I haven't included it in any like Instagram reels. I haven't posted about it on TikTok. Like I haven't even talked to like form my opinion on this. Well, I have formed my opinion on it. Let me rephrase that. And it's that I used it twice and I realized that this mascara is absolutely incredible. Whoa, it's so good. It's so good. Um, something I would love to mention is that it's not, I feel like I've been getting like, I've been hearing like mixed things on it. Not that people don't like it because the consensus is that everyone loves it, but I didn't buy this impulsively <laughs> because everyone loved it, but it was what they were saying about it. So this is not a tubing mascara. So I had, I think I had heard somebody or maybe I misheard them. Maybe they said it wasn't a tubing mascara and I just heard tubing mascara. Um, but it's not a tubing mascara. It is a regular mascara, but in a way it performs like a tubing mascara. It doesn't have the heaviness or even like the hardness of a tubing mascara, but it has the ease of a tubing mascara. I think that's what everyone has agreed upon is that it has the ease of a tubing mascara because it comes off so easily um but it builds like a major volume mascara um and you'll see here when i put it on we have here let me we have a little we have a little brush like this it's plastic it's a little pokey but I kind of like that. I feel like since I have such thick eyelashes, this really gets into each hair and each row because I have a lot of rows of eyelashes. Um, so I like to take it like smiley face, like, like this side and really like build. And then I flip and then I comb for length. Okay. So, um, this has the ability to hold curl. So I usually curl my eyelashes because they do grow pretty straight, but they'll hold a curl. Um, so I don't have a lot of the problems that some other people have that are like, yeah, I love tubing mascaras, but I can't hold a curl with them. That's not really me. Um, 
but apparently this holds a curl like no other like I don't curl my eyelashes before I apply this like look how that's just like look at my the difference in my eyes here I feel like my lights kind of off but um yeah like just look at the difference Let me get focused here. Like, that's kind of insane. I'm gonna zoom back out because I look kind of crazy. <laughs> um, I'm using like partial, um, I'm using partial like natural light and it changes so quickly. So if my lighting changes, you know, you just deal with it. Like nobody really cares. Anyways, like, just look at the difference in that. Like, that's absolutely incredible. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And this is 20 bucks. It's 20 bucks. Compared to everything else from Tower 28, like, this is really cheap. <laughs> I feel like in one of my, like, uh, most recent videos, I kind of dissed on them a little bit for how much they um, overcharged for their facial spray when it's literally three ingredients. Um, and you can buy a dupe. Uh, a, a dupe that's used by piercing professionals on Amazon for like 14 bucks. Uh, so it's literally double the price of what professionals use. So buy that. Um, but when I heard that they were coming out with this mascara, I'm like, oh, it's going to be so much money. But uh, I mean, it's not cheap. I wouldn't say that it's like buying something from like Elf or Wet n Wild or like Catrice or something like that. But this is uh, for like a medium tier to like higher tier brand. Uh, like a Sephora brand, if you will. Um, this is incredibly affordable, and I think that it is totally worth your money. Like, look at my eyelashes. Like, this is insane. Like, did Victoria Beckham just get pushed to the side? Like, did she? Did Laura Mercier just get pushed to the side? Is this my new favorite mascara? Am I no longer the tubing mascara queen? Am I no longer my caviar mascara ride or die? Like, who am I? Who is this? Who is this lady before me? With these actual butterfly wing eyelashes, like, I'm like, whoa. Holy rip. Like, these are so... And I'm not saying this just because there's a bunch of hype. Like, I was, like, partially waiting to be disappointed in this when it came in the mail. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna use that. And then I used it. Like, this is, like, the third time I'm ever using it. And I'm like, okay, I get it. Like, this is... And each time I use it, I'm like... <laughs> This is amazing. This mascara is absolutely amazing. 20 bucks. Go ahead. Get it. I'm gonna go ahead and put on um, my lip liner. I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury uh, lip cheat and this is in the color Iconic Nude. This is pretty much like my lips but better. Um, because here's the thing. I was looking at whoops I was looking at the <laughs> lip category and I'm gonna be completely honest I don't own a single one of these products on any of the lists like I have so many and even the reader's choice the reader's choice was like I guess the retro matte bullet lipsticks from MAC and I own a million and one MAC lipsticks and I don't have any of them in the retro matte formula. I don't. I don't. Um, I have the regular matte formula and I have a few like sheer ones, but 
nothing like that. Um, there was a trend that I noticed, um, especially with the one category. Um, I think it was like the, it's very much like a lip sheer, kind of like oils meets stains meets sheer lipsticks, whether it's like a, like a shiny lacquer or like a balm or just a sheer-ish lipstick. Um, so like for example, like best lipstick sheer is Guerlain Kiss Kiss Be Glow. Best lipstick in the cream formula is Christian Dior Dior Addict. Uh, best lipstick in the satin formula is Armani Beauty. Uh, Lip Power Longwear Vivid Color Lipstick. Um, get out of here, advertisement. Uh, <laughs> I've never even heard of this one. Best matte lipstick is Sunny's Face Fluff Matte. Um, lip balm is the road peptide. Yeah, it's just, uh, a lot of stuff that's all, you know, pretty similar. Like, it's all, like, pretty similar type of same means to an end. So I figured, like, what's, you know, I could just shop my stash for something like that. Um, and the closest thing, because I feel like out of any of those that I would probably buy would maybe be the Girl On because I'm in such a lip tint, like a sheer lip tint balm kind of user. So I figured the NARS Afterglow Lip Balms would be the best replacements for these. Because um, a lot of these, like, you don't hear people really talking about them all that much. Like, I'm actually really surprised that um, nothing from Merit was talked about. Um, the, what was it? Like, everybody was super into it. Like, the Dior uh, tinted lip balms, like, in the shade Mahogany. Like, I, I'm just... I'm just kind of curious. And then the reader's choice, like they chose a MAC matte bullet lipstick. Like that was their choice. Is this real? Like, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, so I have, a, I have all the shades in this. This one is Orgasm that I just pulled out. And then this one is actually a mini that I think came with like a, a birthday gift or something like that. Um, and I really regret not picking up the full size because this is actually my favorite. This is the Laguna shade and it's a nice brown. NARS, you'll probably never be watching this. Uh, but please make Laguna permanent, please. Look at that, like that just goes with everything. For some surprises, like if you go onto the list, you're you know, there'll be some, some questionable picks. Um, but for the most part, I feel like I was pretty in sync this year with, uh, the winners. I, I really like all of these products. Um, some more than others. Um, some were a little surprising. Um, but it doesn't mean that they're a bad product. I just would personally choose something else based off of my personal preferences for makeup. Uh, yeah, that's, it is my look and my full face of Allure Beauty Winners for 2022. I'm pretty happy with it. And like, it looks good. Like, this is like a face of makeup that I would wear day to day. Like, this is it. Bye.